Hi there, this is Eugene Blanchard and uh, this is a wood jointer that I picked up that a neighbor was throwing out coated with rust, a really good layer of rust. I've already cleaned this off here. I wish I had took a picture of uh, what it looked like before. I've cleaned this off also. Um, some of the problems with it, it was missing the blades. I'll just give this a spin here. And it's also missing the part that holds it in. So uh, right now I'm, it has three blades three parts. I was able to pick up a, a set of blades here uh, from a, their CMT blades from a local company and they're very inexpensive. They're uh, $20.95 for a set of three. Uh, everywhere else they were looking like $40, $50 bucks for it up to $90 bucks. and uh, some of the problems is that you know they might be flat or not sharpened properly and these blades are quite good. This one's quite, kind of dusty because I was using it uh, because uh, I'm building the holder here and I'll show that in a second. Uh, some of the problems with it besides being very dusty, it looked like it had been outside for a while. Uh, first problem was this switch was busted here. So it's just a regular house switch so I, I replaced it and uh, that works fine. The uh, extension cord is chewed up pretty good all over the place. So that's why uh, this cord is I'm going to use. I like the orange ones because you can see them quite well. Right, Black ones, they're kind of old but you can trip over them here, you see it better. Uh, another problem, you'll see there's a pulley here. And this pulley was here and the pulley is actually bent. And it doesn't fit properly on the shaft. The shaft is like a 9 16th. Let's see if I can get some more light in here. Here we go. And uh, it would wobble. Right? Uh, something that uh, we also have is uh, a belt. Right? Now let's see if I can... See. I'll move the belt here. We'll see how... Uh, I don't know if you can see this. We get an angle. Uh, belt's got a little bit of a kink in it here, so it's not smooth when it turns around. It turns, it's got a little bit of a wobble. Uh, what I prefer is link belts. I'll bring it over here so you can see it better. Here's a, a link belt I've made up a bunch of links. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive. What happens is that they don't. Uh, uh, the belt doesn't warp like a, a fan belt like this, a V belt. What will happen if it's sitting here for a while, then what will happen is it will form to here and then all of a sudden when it starts running through, you'll get this little uh, kink going on in it and that. Uh, you put these on and it runs super smooth. I really like these link belts. Uh, they're, they tend to be much more expensive though. So I'll have to see if I'm going to put that on or not. Uh, let's see, what else is about it? So it's basically a beaver joint, uh, 2800 model. It's probably from uh, 1960 or so. And that the motor works fine. It's dirty, but it works perfectly fine. Never even checked to see what the specs are on the motor. So let's take a look at it here. Um, the specs are horsepower one third, one eighth, one third horsepower. I think it says here. It's, I don't know if I can focus in on this. And that so I'll have to get my other glasses on to see it's a little bit too fine for me so uh, so right now I'm in the process of making the uh, uh, the clamp that clamps the blade in the blade goes in like this and then there's a bar with three screws on it that tightens up against it so I'm just making that and what I'll do is I'll post some information on that as I get it done now uh, this is the piece that holds it in it goes like this slides in there and then you adjust the blade and you tighten these screws or loosen these screws and what they'll do is they'll push this bar against the blade and holds it in place now uh, I'll, I'll show you the dimensions what I have for it as you can see I can't drill three holes in a straight line and that uh, it's just my eyesight um, I just put a uh, aluminum bar, it's about just over a half inch, uh, one quarter twenty uh, screws with uh, seven sixteenths head. You can get them with three eighths, which would probably be nicer. Than that. Uh, what I did is I screwed them all the way in, and then I just took a, a Dremel tool and I cut cut it off flush, right? and that way it, it fits in here. Uh, the thickness is 0.1875 inch. And, that. and I'll post the, the uh, I'll show you a picture of the dimensions. And you need three of them. I'm making the uh, mounting 
brackets. And uh, so one of the things, it's very tight, so it ends up that it's very hard to find right screws. Or, and that, so these are one uh, quarter dash 20, 7 sixth inch head. A 3 eighths head would be a lot better, but hard to find. And also you need a very short one. Uh, these ones are just junk ones I had lying around. Uh, preferably you'd want a flatter head on here. Uh, so when you tighten, it doesn't grab in as much. I'm using aluminum uh, bar just because I happen to have aluminum bar. I cut it down to size. Uh, and now what happens is I, I've, I'm going to trim uh, these nuts off so they're flush. So we have no room. So uh, when this is in place, there's about 50 thou room here before it hits the, uh, the blade on here. So we have to make this flush and then we can just unscrew this and that'll tighten it up. I used a Dremel tool over here with a cutoff wheel and I just put it in my vise and cut it off flush. Right? So I just have one more to do and these to do. So that's the easy way. Um, you don't have to cut the bolts ahead of time. You put the bolts in, they're held in position and, and then you just cut them off flush. Okay, so I've got it all put together. I'll just go through what I had to do. So I had to buy some blades, three of them. Then I had to make these bars with the screws adjustment on it. I had to clean off all the rust, refinish that, um, replace the switch here, it was busted, replace the power cord, got a new one on there. Uh, I didn't like the way, I had to re replace the pulley up here. Uh, this pulley here, it was bent, the original one, so I got a new one. I didn't like the way the motor was mounted. Uh, it was mounted solid, no adjustment. Right now it's the weight of the motor is doing the, the tension on the belt. Uh, over here, what I've done is I've put a little uh, uh, angle iron uh, so it rests on here and then I got a pivot on uh, a hinge so that way it sits. That actually took a long time to do to get it right. And that, so uh, let's turn it on and see. There we go. It's not adjusted. I haven't adjusted anything and it comes out with a pretty good nice straight edge so far. So I haven't checked the adjustment on the out uh, or the intake. I haven't uh, adjusted any of the, the blades on here for their height and that and uh, it's, it's surprisingly quiet too. I was surprised and that so so things are looking good. Then we'll have to uh, adjust the blades. There's a bunch of websites uh, online that uh, really talk about how to set it up. Uh, um, I'm not even going to bother to do a video on that because there's so many others that are available. I'll put a link in uh, the description on the websites I found. Thank you.